Pretty, pretty early today to try and uh, catch a sunrise and uh, and uh, yeah so I was heading home again and I found this very cute little spot with a lot of ducks <laughs> it's like everywhere else is like it's not completely frozen but as you can see like but the ducks are hanging out warm enough uh, to not have frozen over. Also this little kind of island out there. It's pretty cool. The most difficult part uh, of today is that I didn't really get the sunset or the sunset that I or the sunrise that I wanted. There were low hanging clouds and the, uh, the low hanging clouds made it so like usually when the sun comes over the horizon it's really like glowing red um, but today the clouds were kind of blocking it so I still got some pretty decent photos that I will show um, but yeah this is so serene right now because it's so early and it's a weekday as well so there were a lot of people who actually went to to the beach this morning to like take a dip in the water supposedly it should be very healthy for you I don't think it's 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 for me maybe in the future but it just seems a bit too cold to be honest I'd rather just uh, go out and shoot some pictures um, and we'll show you by the end of this but like look at this place so great so I'm gonna hit the I mean if I stumble upon something interesting yeah I'll show you guys so yeah otherwise see you back home Like subjects just keep popping up. For this one, I think I'm gonna use the 30 mil, or maybe I'm gonna take one shot with the 30 mil and one shot with the 16 mil that I have on for the vlog. Um, I'm never gonna get home <laughs> at this speed because again, I think I drove maybe 200, 300 meters, and then I found a new subject. But I mean, this 
just too good to take a pass on. interesting to me is kind of the contrast between this side as you can see we're almost getting like underexposed it's actually pretty well exposed right now but like so you see all the snow and everything but as soon as you turn the other way it's actually very green compared to I spotted like the sun was just shining you know onto this lake uh, that has been frozen over as well and it was like between two trees and uh, yeah look at it see so this was basically what I was met with and I took a shot from a bit further away <coughs> Like it is so very exposed because the sun is directly in front of us right now. But when I drove past, I just knew I had to take the shot. So the problem with like a shot like this uh, is definitely that it's directly like towards the sun. Polarizing filter doesn't really do anything with like getting those reflections kind of. Uh, suppressed or like diminution because it is very it's very sharp uh, so the problem is of course that it's totally blown out but the sun is being reflected in the ice on the water uh, so that's a big problem and like a polarizing filter when you're shooting directly at the sun uh, it's not gonna help anything you need kind of like a 45 or 90 a degree angle for it to be most effective so you can see totally blown out here at least what I did was to expose for like the foreground um, and yeah that, that should be okay because the reflections I kind of want the reflections um, then it doesn't really matter too much that it, it might be a bit overexposed right now we're actually correctly exposed out here but like the meter is reading that we are like two stops overexposed when we are overlooking like the reflection on the lake. I just wanted uh, to show you guys this because it was really really pretty. Like the way it, the sun is shining and dancing uh, across the the little lake here, and it is kind of bending over here. It's very nice. <laughs> 